What's up everyone, this is Fluent Pilot and it's great to have you back. Let's continue our picture description series and talk about another incident. This time we'll be dealing with this engine fire situation. So let's roll. Now what do we have here? There's an airplane standing on the runway with one of its engines on fire. We can make a suggestion right away that the engine caught fire right after touchdown on a landing roll. Or probably the crew detected the fire before reaching V1 and rejected the takeoff. As we agreed earlier, it's always a good thing to be able to extract as much information about the aircraft and its condition as it is possible. We have a two-engine regional jet here. It resembles a CRJ and we have the company name written on the fuselage. Except for the left engine, which is in flames right now, it seems the rest of the airplane is intact, meaning there is no other damage. We see a fire truck by the aircraft spraying water over the affected engine. It looks like there's another stream of water coming from the left, so there are supposedly more trucks operating on the other side of the aircraft. In terms of vocabulary, we could say the firefighters are extinguishing the fire or trying to put it out, or suppress the fire. I guess these are the verbs that are most commonly used in that context. We also see that the evacuation is in progress. The other option here is to use more formal verbs like to deplane or to disembark. Or we could simply say that people are getting out of the airplane. We see about 10 passengers who, strangely enough, are not even trying to get away from the aircraft. They're standing right by the left wing and filming the process with their cell phones. It looks like they're not scared at all. The crew are normally the last to leave the aircraft in such a situation, so we may assume there are no more passengers inside. Speaking of the reasons, there likely have been some technical problems with the engine. There might have been a fuel leak in the fuel supply system, or the power plant might have got overheated. Finally, a foreign object hitting the engine could also be a cause of the fire. Of course, we could also talk about the weather, but it clearly was not a contributing factor to this incident, so for training purposes we would skip that for now. Let's think of some concluding remarks. One topic that clearly pops into my head here is the emergency evacuation procedure itself. You might want to emphasize that the crew should be well trained and be able to arrange and conduct evacuation safely. Passengers in their turn should strictly follow the instructions of the crew and not let panic set in. Another option is to talk about the growing trend of passengers literally losing their minds and their desire to capture a nice view or make a stunning selfie for their social media accounts, and that this kind of careless behavior may well cost them their lives. Okay, now let's see how a possible description would sound like. In this picture, there's an aircraft standing on the runway with its left engine on fire. It's a CRJ, a regional jet by Bombardier, and it is operated by United Express, so we can suppose the action is taking place in the United States. It looks like the engine of this aircraft caught fire on the landing roll, or when the aircraft was taxiing in. However, the aircraft doesn't seem to have sustained any other damage. The fire department has already provided a quick response, as we see a fire truck spraying water over the engine and trying to put the fire out. Other fire trucks are also spraying water from the other side of the plane in order to cool down the airframe and prevent the fire from spreading. The passengers and the crew are promptly deplaning. It's worth pointing out that the evacuation is being carried out through the air stairs or the front door, and no slides have been deployed. What is especially surprising about this moment is that the passengers are not trying to get away from the emergency aircraft to a safe distance. On the contrary, some of them lingered right by the wing and are trying to take pictures and selfies with the burning engine in the background. I hope though no one got injured and firefighters managed to quickly extinguish the fire and eliminate the risk of an explosion. I guess this kind of fire might have been caused by technical problems with the engine. Perhaps it got overheated due to some technical malfunction, or there was a fuel leak. Besides, we should also consider an ingestion of foreign object debris as a possible reason for that. Actually, this picture touches upon a very interesting yet vital issue of passenger behavior in emergency or abnormal situations. 
People are getting really addicted to social media and the desire to gain likes, shares, followers or reposts. But in an environment like that, when passengers have to follow the evacuation instructions precisely and promptly, this obsession defies common sense. Any distraction jeopardizes the safety and the consequences can be deadly. This kind of passenger behavior patterns should seriously be analyzed and considered by aviation safety experts. Well, not bad. You never know where your inspiration will take you. Try to describe this picture and certainly try other endings too. Okay, let's take a break here, guys. Hope that was useful and uh, we will continue the incident analysis series, uh, so stay tuned. Drop us a line if you have any ideas, comments or suggestions. They're always welcome. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.